Welcome to another edition of How to Fix It Yourself with Dave and Dave. So a few weeks ago, um, well I've been driving the Pathfinder off and on for uh, months. I really hadn't gotten on the freeway where I had a long run. And so I got on the freeway for a long run and I turned on my cruise control and it wouldn't work. And it was like, oh crap. Now, it could be a lot of things with the cruise control. So there's the control on the steering wheel that turns it off and on. It could be that uh, switch on the steering wheel. It could be a fuse, it could be a relay, it could be the vacuum pump over, I know that runs the, uh, the um, cable for pulling the ignition or the uh, throttle plate. So it could be a lot of different things. And now you've got a lot of things to sort out. If it's the vacuum pump, that all comes as an assembly. It's very expensive. If it's a controller, that's another item that gets very expensive. So anyway, so I start looking around and start trying to chase it out a little bit. And then it hits me. So if all of a sudden your cruise control goes out or if your brake lights come on and don't go off, one of the items that could well be is the little grommet that pushes on the switch for the brake uh, switch or the clutch switch uh, if you have one with clutch. Now the Pathfinder happens to be kind of unique. I don't know how many other cars do it this way, but so is that they have kind of a commonality they have a broad plate attached to the brake on the automatic transmission versions that have both the clutch uh, switch and the brake switch there. And so when you push on the brake pedal, it engages both switches. Well, the grommet on the clutch switch disappeared and it shredded and disintegrated and fell out and that was the problem. And so my brake lights work just fine. When I would turn on the cruise control, the, the cruise light would come on, but the set light wouldn't. And so it was all kind of a little bit confusing until I realized that it uh, might be those grommets. I've run into that before, and I hadn't thought about that for a long time. But it's one of those items that is overlooked in a lot of uh, repair manuals where they give you step-by-step -step approaches on how to diagnose these problems. So if you have anything like your cruise control suddenly going out or your brake lights staying on, you might want to take a look to see if that grommet has fallen out or has disintegrated as it did on mine. So the grommet sits in there and it gives a chance for that grommet to push against the switch without damaging the switch. So if it was metal on the switch, then you might actually damage the switch. So they put these little rubber grommets in there to soften that uh, hit on the switch so that it doesn't take out the switch as quickly. But that's an item that they just rarely talk about in the service and repair manuals. And so it's not one that you would look for. And you can diagnose all kinds of things before you just happen to notice that, oh, gee whiz that grommet is gone. So we're gonna show you about replacing it. It's really simple to do. It's awkward as heck because you've gotta get down underneath the dash and you know, kind of twist yourself into a pretzel, but it's a straightforward operation. I'm gonna replace bro both grommets. So I'm gonna push out the one grommet on the brake pedal that still works. And then I'll put both grommets in for the brake switch and the clutch switch. So it's straightforward operation. Here we go. So here you're looking at the brake plate that pushes on the switch. You can see the two switches. The one on the left is a clutch switch. The one on the right is a brake switch. You can see the brake switch still has its little grommet in place, but you can see where the clutch plate is, or the clutch switch is, is that there's a hole there. And so that's what's causing our problem. So we need to, uh, we're gonna replace both the grommets. So we're going to, punch out the one that's on the brake, and then we'll put the both uh, brand new ones back into those locations. So that gives you an idea of where we're working and what kind of little space we have to work in.
So in order to get the brake pedal down a little bit further so we have some room to work because we don't want them right up against those switches, I've used this hood extender and I started up the engine, pushed down on the brake and got me some, uh, some distance on that brake pedal so I have a little room to work up in there. So that's what this bar is and why we did that. Uh, it helps if you start up the engine to press on the brake. It makes it move a lot better. All right, now so you can see that we've got the other uh, grommet out of there. It took some meal nose pliers and a little bit of patience, but we got the other one out. So now we're going to put the new ones in both holes. After trying to get those in there, we just don't have enough space to get in there. This particular plate here that you would think would be obvious to take off is actually spot welded on, or welded on the back to the uh, column housing. So you'd have to pull that all the way out to get that plate out of there. So what we're gonna do to get a little more room is we're gonna go ahead and pop this off of here. You've got a screw down here. You've got a screw here and a couple of screws up here that's gotta come off. And then once you get this off, there's a screw back here that needs to come off. And then you can start getting this panel off of there. So we're gonna take that off and then we'll be back with you. So after trying a variety of different things, we realized that we had to take more apart out of the dash than we thought we would to be able to get in there. The final solution we had was to use this uh, uh, tool, which is used for taking out body clips. And it turns out that you can cram the uh, grommet into the wedge there and put it up in place. Uh, easy way to get it to press in place is to pull the uh, brake pedal back up and let the brake pedal push it into place. It was easy, but we wouldn't have been able to do that if we hadn't taken the dash all apart. So if you take a good look here, you'll notice that we ended up having to take a fair amount of the dash apart. We had to take that whole assembly here apart. We had to loosen up the, uh, the fuse box here. We had to take a couple of other parts off that go up in here. And so just to get us enough room to where we could get that in place. So we'll put everything back together again and we'll go for a test drive and make sure everything works. So now that we've replaced the grommets, uh, we've got our cruise control working again. We went out on a road test and it works just fine. And so we didn't have to replace any of the expensive parts. So again, this is one of the items that is fairly inexpensive and you can check first because it's easy to do. Just get a flashlight and look up in there and see if that grommet is in place or not. And uh, then after that, you can start worrying about the more expensive parts, but cheap part, easy to do. And uh, hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, please hit the subscribe button and uh, press the like button. We'd appreciate that, all the help we can get. Hope this has been helpful to you. Have a good day.